Nausea and vomiting are common during pregnancy, affecting 70 to 85 percent of women worldwide, but not in all countries. Population groups that eat more plant-based diets tend to have little or no nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, though. Uh, for example, on a nationwide basis, the lowest reported rates in the world are in India, at only 35 percent. Sometimes symptoms are so severe it can become life-threatening, a condition known as hyperemesis gravidarum. Each year more than 50,000 pregnant women are hospitalized. Uh, what can we do other than uh, you know, reducing our intake of saturated fat, for example, uh, cutting the odds fivefold by cutting out one daily cheeseburger? The best available evidence suggests that ginger is a safe and effective treatment. The recommended dose is a gram of powdered ginger a day. Uh, that's about half a teaspoon, which is equivalent to about a full teaspoon of grated fresh ginger, or four cups of ginger tea. The maximum recommended daily dose is four grams, though, so uh, no more than like two teaspoons of powdered ginger a day. Cannabis was rated as extremely effective, or effective, by 9 out of 10 pregnant women who used it for morning sickness. But cannabis use during pregnancy may be regarded as potentially harmful to the developing fetus. This is not your mother's marijuana. Today's marijuana is six to seven times more potent than in the 1970s, and may cause problems both for the developing fetus and then later for the developing child. Uh, the bottom line is that pregnant and breastfeeding cannabis users should be advised to either decrease or, where possible, cease cannabis use entirely. What do they mean by where possible? Uh, under what circumstances would it not be? People don't realize just how bad it can get. This is how one woman described it. Hyperemesis gravidarum can lead to such violent vomiting you can rupture your esophagus, bleed into your eyes, go blind, or comatose. And so there are certain circumstances where cannabis could be a lifesaver for both the mother and the baby, as women sometimes understandably choose to terminate otherwise wanted pregnancies.